gorgeous. We're just oh. admiring beautiful things all day. Guess mm -hmm. what? We have another artist coming up. Her name is Claudia Mills, and she is an incredible weaver and makes some beautiful handmade rugs. Every time I walk past it, it just seems so calm. It seems so inviting, too. Like, you just want to walk in. It's like, what are well, you good. doing in there? Like, well, it's, like it's you know, we pull yeah. up a chair and sit down and just watch the show. This technique that we do is centuries old. These looms look like looms that are probably from the 18th century. Loom design has not changed much over the years. It's all just like hand and foot power. It's all woman power in here. It's uh, called rag rug weaving, weaving with strips of fabric. And uh, it really was early recycling. If you think about it, people would take their old sheets and clothes and tear them into strips and weave them. But we here in the studio use all new textiles, 100% cottons. They're all color fast so that people can feel comfortable walking on the rugs. Gotcha. So I don't have to hang them on the wall? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> people do hang them on the wall because they're nice and graphic and colorful and they also absorb sound. But uh, we make them for the floor. They're super durable. It takes about an hour to weave one foot of this two foot width. An eight foot rug can't be woven really in eight hours. It takes longer because it's a very physical process. How did you find yourself though attracted to well, rug I've making? Always, I've always loved uh, color and textiles. I studied textiles in college um, and I took a rug weaving course after I graduated from college and I put the fabric that I loved together with the weaving and ended up doing these rag rugs for over 30 years. In over 30 years, how many rugs do you think you've weaved? <laughs> Thousands. We keep a record of every single rug that we make so that if we need to go back, if a customer has an old rug that they want to reproduce or if they want something similar, we can go back in our record books and we can see that we have all the dimensions, all the, the fabrics that we used, everything. And there's like the artistry to what you do. Where does that come from? Is that oh just in the moment or is that just like, is it thought about beforehand? It can be. It's all, we do all the design work before we even get to the looms. So we know down to the eighth of an inch what we're going to make when we start the actual weaving process. But the inspiration comes from artwork, comes from architecture, um, you know, past drug that maybe we made and we'd like to change a little bit and add a different color. So it's color is endless. You can actually stop by Claudia's studio if you're interested. Yeah. It's 133 North 3rd Street and uh, you definitely want to see those things in person. I mean, right around the corner from Fox 29. Yeah, basically. Sure. I might yeah. stop by on my lunch break. Okay, why not?